in general with DLC, they'll buy just about anything. <laughs> that's not good. But that, so you have to figure out. They usually want more, more dungeons, more whatever. But our, our thought process is: how do we make the game better so that we're proud of the content we're putting out there? Thing Hearthfire, the latest in Skyrim add-on content. With Hearthfire, you can finally place a permanent mark on the world of Skyrim by designing, building, and maintaining your own home. Sure. While playing, to rebuild. And it works like this. You can scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. To build the way, to rebuild, and build the way. Building. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town looks like and be able to upgrade and decorate all of the individual elements in it. As your town levels up, you'll unlock new NPCs, quests, and more. You can even visit your friends' towns. To say, this is what a Fallout fan likes. Right. I, you know, I, I see all types. So the um, heavy NPC quest and dialogue system, like, it clearly doesn't have that. The... How how that affects you know somebody's perception of Fallout or, or how that does that evolve Fallout in a way or is this kind of a separate thing um, from the main Fallout? Both, mm -hmm. <laughs> like uh, you know it, it it's it is a sequel and that is the next one in in Fallout, uh, but we didn't call it Fallout Five because it's not it's not the same. We are doing something different and we are doing something that that was a direction the studio wanted to try and see how it worked and see what it would feel like. Um, you can play this solo, all right? You'll... Fallout 76 is entirely online. 